Thanks for joining us. I'm Katie Nobles. And I'm disability attorney Michael Liner. And you're watching The Bottom Line. Today's topic, can I draw unemployment while I wait to be approved for benefits? Great question, Katie. It's one that we get a lot because a lot of times, um, you know, we'll encounter clients who they were fired from a job or they were laid off and a lot of times it has to do with their disability that leads them to applying. So we get this question. Now, the reason why this is a question that comes up so often is generally speaking, it's important you know the specific rules in your state because unemployment is generally a, a state benefit. Um, but in most states, what you have to demonstrate is that you're ready, able, and willing to work. Of course, with Social Security Disability, what we have to prove is that there's no full-time work that you can do. So there's definitely a contradiction between the two types of benefits. Um, you know, the way that we explain this to our clients um, is, you know, where, where I think that there's uh, some gray area there where it might otherwise be, you know, black and it's clear that the two benefits don't line up is once somebody gets a little bit older. Because once you um, are over 50 years old, we don't have to prove that there's no work at all doing anything that you can do. We just have to prove that you can't do more than sedentary work and you can't do your past work or any work that you've acquired transferable skills to. At 55 years old, we just have to prove that you can't do more than light work or any work, uh, any of your past work or work that you've acquired transferable skills to. So going back to where I started, um, what, you know, the question which is, can I receive unemployment benefits while I'm waiting to be approved for disability benefits? It really depends a lot on age. When somebody's under 50, we usually tell them, no, you can't because there's a direct contradiction there. When somebody's 50 years old or even 55 years old where there's a little more leeway there, I believe that there's some gray area that Social Security has to consider where you might be technically eligible for both. And um, just kind of following up, what would happen if someone does apply for unemployment and they're receiving that while they're waiting for their approval? So, uh, generally speaking, nothing. I mean, the, the state that you live in will provide you those benefits. What we did start seeing more in the last few years is individual states um, checking to see if people were receiving disability benefits and then coming back and sending overpayments to people who received it. Um, now, usually it's kind of a wash because people are able to then take whatever Social Security retroactive benefits they received and apply that towards an overpayment. Not an easy way to think about it, but um, at the same time, if you're receiving benefits where there's, you know, you might not have been technically eligible for it, um, you know, it, it, it does make sense a little bit that one should apply towards the other. but. It's not a guarantee that there's going to be an overpayment created, but it is possible. So you do need to know that that's something that could happen. All right. Thank you so much, Michael, for all that information. And if you have any questions about this or anything else, you can let us know right here in the comments or submit it on our website. That's LinerLegal.com. <laughs>